there's three guards at like the exit to the security and they're just sitting there like this and they're not letting anyone through hey guys welcome back to another late ass upload with your lame ass youtuber frederick chen but seriously I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday, um, I have really no excuse except for I'm very sleep deprived and I'm having driver's lessons, so that's about it. But I'd rather give you a late upload in another video that will come Wednesday, it's just an update video which no one is going to care about, than not upload at all, okay? We have a deal, actually you don't even get a say in it because I'm the one who owns this channel. This looks like a clickbait title and guess what, if it got you to click on it, the story is true. But just some context for you guys, I went to a trip in South Carolina around two weeks ago and I flew by myself. You guys know a long time ago, I made a video talking about why, why is my lighting not centered? Move you like one centimeter this way. Did that change anything? Probably not. But some time ago, I made a video about why I hate flying and I'll put it up here, or is it here? And it's just because my family is like cursed with flying. Somehow we can't have a flight without one of us having a problem even if it's like very minor. Every time we go on vacation, there's another problem. And I finally thought, I thought that I escaped the curse because the first time when I flew to South Carolina, it was perfect, nothing bad happened. But this story is about when I was going from South Carolina back to here and how I held up security for a good 30 minutes. The 40 people who either hate airplanes or just don't fly in general. When you go into an airplane, you have to check in and then go to security. Because in America, we want to be safe or something. So I'm at security and I say, please let me go through with my passport in hand. And he gave me a TSA pre-check card, which basically means I don't have to take off my shoes. Because in America, we see shoes as a threat. So I said, thank you, sir. And I walked through. I have my backpack and my suitcase, which is way too heavy, by the way. I packed too much shit in there. Yes, I managed to pack two weeks worth of stuff in one suitcase and one backpack and guess what was in the backpack camera shit but when you're at security there's this little like treadmill sort of thing and you put all your belongings in little like boxes and they go through the little treadmill so i put myself in the scanner and i walk through and it's all good nothing bad's happening so i'm like okay halfway done after security all i need is to get to a gate i'm walking through and i look at the scanner and only my backpack has gone through and i'm like Hmm, is my suitcase too big, heavy or something? Because if it's one of those, they'll just let you put it under the airplane or something and it's all good. I'm waiting there for five more minutes and it still hasn't gone through and I'm like, does my suitcase like jam the treadmill or something? Is it really that big of a fat ass? No, the security person takes out my suitcase and puts it to the side and everything else is going through. I'm like, shit, something's in my suitcase. So picture like this face with, you know, fake glasses on. <laughs> Hold on, let me get them. Picture this face. I'm gonna take these off now because it looks disgusting with these lights. And I'm by myself with a backpack on my shoulder. And, you know, I'm just like sitting there, um, I guess, tapping my foot just a bunch of times. So I'm a little anxious because it's like, there might be something in my suitcase where I can't bring with me. And the first time I went to security, when I was going to South Carolina, nothing bad happened. And I brought some souvenirs with me. And those souvenirs are very precious to my heart because I like them. And I'm still waiting and I'm looking at like the computers and cameras to the side. There's like three security guards at this point and they're looking at these cameras, which if you don't know, when your shit is going through the treadmill, the stuff scans it and then security can see like what's inside your suitcase because they're creeps. But they're looking at stuff in bags and they're just like pointing at random things. And I'm trying to like look at the bag as well and I can't really see if it's my bag or not, but I'm pretty sure it's mine because it's the only suitcase to not go through the scanner yet. So they're pointing at it, just like whispering about stuff. And then they said, get security in here. We need more security. So all of a sudden there are three guards, you know, guarding there's three guards at like the exit to the security and they're just sitting there like this and they're not letting anyone through he said stop all scanning so the treadmill just comes to zero miles per hour there's like a huge ass line in the back because airports are fucking cramped as hell no one's getting their stuff through no one's gonna get their stuff and make it through their plane probably and i'm now thinking that it's all because of a 16 year old boy because of whatever is in my suitcase, they had to bring in extra security, and now they brought in like the head of security looking at this freaking camera. So I finally break and I say, excuse me miss, why is my suitcase still on hold? She says, this is your suitcase? And I started to get very like, mmm, I don't want to get in trouble here, I'm just by myself. I'm a 16 year old boy with just random stuff in suitcases. She takes the suitcase, puts it in front of this table, which is like right next to the cameras. She opens up my suitcase and she takes out this like little sheet of paper and she basically wipes around my suitcase and 
I'm just very lost now. And I asked her, hey, what's that sheet of paper for? She says, oh, it checks for explosives. Excuse me? You think I have explosives in my suitcase now? Is this a joke? And she's like, don't be scared, it's just protocol, I'm doing my job. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So then she takes a look at the camera, takes a look at my bag, and she's like, there is a candle in this suitcase. I have to check it to make sure it's okay. Let me get my candle. This was a Bath & Body Works tea and lemon candle. Look at me being all beauty guru-like. Yeah, I'm a British piece of shit because I like tea. So basically, they were scared of this candle, which can someone please explain to me why security needs to check for candles, I'm just very lost. There's no way it's a fire hazard because the thing hasn't even been set off yet. And even if it has been, I had the lid on it so it wouldn't have oxygen to burn. Science, kids. So I say, it's right under there, in my heavily packed suitcase. I... It is so hard to pack that suitcase. The amount of stuff that I was able to shove in that suitcase is phenomenal. I should get an award for you to fit that much shit. Then she just looks at this random plastic bag that has something inside of it. Now, before you think of anything, no it's not drugs. Let me get this plastic bag for you. So this is some sand from a beach in South Carolina. Because I'm a sentimental piece of shit and I wanted some sand, okay? And I like laughed a little bit and I said, huh, oh, it's just sand. And then the security guard said, I'm gonna need to take a liquid sample for this substance. Liquid? Um, excuse me. Where is the liquid in sand? Please explain to me. Obviously I didn't say that because it's security. So she takes the bottle and takes up some of my falling beach sand. And then she's putting it under that printer scanner thing again. I don't know what's going on because I can't see it. It's behind a big ass table. And then after five more minutes, she calls off all the security guards who are blocking the gate and they leave. The head of security leaves also. She gives me back my sand and she says, you're okay to go. I was texting my friend the whole time and I went back to the beginning of the text and I looked at the time of my first text to my friend. And I basically held up everyone for 30 minutes. So they might have missed the flight because some people don't want to be early. And I looked back at the big ass line and it was an even bigger ass line, okay? I know all of them were looking at me because I had a bright pink shirt. So apparently my whole family and I suck at flying. No matter what, something bad's gonna happen. Obviously this story isn't dramatic to what you're used to because this story is nothing compared to all the other YouTuber stories. So if you guys enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about something. Subscribe because I post videos every Saturday slash Sunday. I'm just turning more into Jenna Marbles as I speak. And I love you guys and everything is less than three. And guess what? I'm gonna be more busy next week, so fuck me.